Yo, what's good, my YouTube family, and welcome back to another video. How you guys doing? Hopefully, you guys are doing great. And today, I'm bringing you some Madden 15 Ultimate Team head to head season gameplay. This is uh, my first game that actually uh, didn't get disconnected, so I decided why not upload it for you guys, bring you guys along the journey of trying to win the Super Bowl. So as you guys see, I get ball first. We see Marcus Colston. He is one of my favorite cards in the game, Marquise Colston. Uh, if you guys want a good receiver who's tall, can catch the ball in traffic, I would really recommend this card. When you guys told me to get Mike Evans, the Rising Star Edition, I just completed that collection. I haven't played the game with him yet, but I'm thinking about doing that real soon, getting some gameplay with him and giving you guys a play review. That's what you guys wanted, so I'm gonna have to give you guys what you want. As we get a pick, Perfect. I don't know how to say his name. We get a pick and we could possibly go all the way. Touchdown pick six. The defense is amazing on my team. As you can see, I got Brian Cushing in the middle and I just enjoy that. He's a great middle linebacker being that he's six foot something. He's really tall and he has a really good cap catching capability. I think he has like 70 something. As we get a fumble, the Sean Golston, that 97 hit power. That is a really good card. Um, I'm thinking I might give that card away because I got an extra one. He doesn't really go for much. So if you guys want that card, let me know and I will give it away to one of you guys. And as you can see, we're trying to feed the ball to Matt Forte. And it wasn't really working very well. So we decided to throw the ball. And Danny Amendola does not have good catching in traffic. So we punt the ball. Um, and he tries to throw it down the middle. I realize a lot of players in Madden 15 love to throw to their tight ends and down the middle so that's a little tip for you guys make sure you have somebody in the middle or use in the middle yourself and there you go and that player tried to bat the ball down and being that Madden 15 has different controls than Madden 25 I pressed the wrong button I didn't figure out till later in the game how to swat the ball down and that's a very key feature in this game Deep passes, I realize uh, bigger receivers generally will catch the ball over smaller receivers. So swatting the ball will be very crucial this year. I think it's L1. I'm thinking the left bumper on uh, 360. So that's a tip for you guys. Make sure you have somebody down the middle and swatting the ball. Two good, two good tips for Madden 15. As you can see, my opponent now has the ball, so we're just trying to play good defense. Defense has been playing phenomenal from the get-go. We're getting picks, we're causing fumbles. We are playing really good defense, so let's try and hope to continue that throughout the rest of the game. We're up 24-0 in the second quarter, winding down, and he's trying to get a little bit of running game, and the defense is stopping it. Play action for him, and we get another pick. Davis. We're going all the way. I think we go all the way for touchdown, the 30, the 20, the 10, touchdown. Nobody's catching up to my defense. My defense is really strong, and I'm loving my defense. I just want to add a couple more pieces, and I think my team will be solid. So as you can see, my opponent is first and 10. He goes down. I try to swat that. As you can see, receivers catch the ball more often than not in this year's Madden 15. And we get another user, well it's not really a user, we get another pick and we are really dominating defensively. So if you really need a good tip and you're not that great in Madden, build your defense. That is what I have to say. And we get another deep pass, Marquise Colston. This guy really didn't really know what he's doing in Madden, so I just kind of abused him. Sorry to say, he's not that great in Madden, sorry. Um, as my opponent get the ball. It is first and 10. And he's trying to give me a little taste of my own medicine. That should have been a pick. I did not press triangle. So, unfortunately, I did not get the animation. And it really didn't work out in his favor. So, as again, I've never seen an unnecessary roughness penalty ever in Madden. And I like that they put it in this year's game. If you guys didn't know about that, now you know. Unnecessary roughness t hitting the, uh, the, the offensive player when he goes out of bounds is a penalty this year. So, Make sure you don't try to hit stick somebody. You will get a 15 yard penalty. So my opponent is on offense and he's not getting nowhere. He's going for it fourth and seven and he finds his tight end right up the middle. But we give him big hit and he didn't get his points. He had no more timeouts. So he does get ball after half. So he's trying his hardest to get some points on the board, running some sweeps, not getting anything, some read options and throwing it deep. 
and we swat it down really uh like i said swatting is very important this year receivers do catch the ball at a crazy rate i've found so far so it is fourth and 18 and he is going for it and he doesn't get it so guess what happens next pretty much he raised quits and that will be the end of this game so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video stay tuned for more madden 15 content and more gameplay i will catch you guys on the next one peace